Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Troopers today on World of Warships console. And what we're doing is actually covering the Tier 2 Pan-Asian Destroyer, the Para Rangang. Rang? I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name right. Uh, it's a Pan-Asian Destroyer. Uh, first off, let's start with the Captain. What perks do I have on the Captain? Well, Standard, he gets 10 upper uh, minimum research angle of your Destroyer's AP shells is 2% so basically I, I believe this means you can penetrate things that's over the angle just a little bit just a little bit not much don't expect it to be the best and then I have contact it contact is import emitters emitters uh, sorry for that guys but now today's uh, torpedo speed is two knots faster and then I have look at me now which is sea detection range is 2% and also preparative uh, which is incoming damage to your destroyer is 2% less torpedo detection range is 2% and show the detection of the closest enemy ship which is pretty enemy useful cloudy days uh, enemy engine boost cooldown um, timer is 10% less and smoke screen dispersion time 10 20% less and smoke screen deployment time is 20% less. Then the legendary perk is unstoppable. Uh, engine repair time is 2.5% less and damage control party cooldown is 50% less. So that, that's actually pretty good, but there is it. Yeah, it is. Let's get into the stats. This is a tech 2 ship, so it does lead on to the other Pan Asian destroyers. It gets HE, AP, and torpedoes. It also gets like a damage control party, which gets super duration 5 seconds, reload time is 40 seconds, and you get unlimited of these. You get smoke, consumable duration 30 seconds, smoke screen dispersion time, uh, smoke screen dispersion time is 70 seconds, and reload time is 120 seconds. Number of these, you only get 4. You get also engine boost, max speed is 8% more faster, consumable duration is 120 seconds. And reload time is 180 seconds, and you only get two of those. The rest of the stats: the hit points of the ship is 8,700. Mm, okay. The main battery is 122 millimeter, 40 picks. Uh, you only get three of these guns, which I'm probably going to try to show you guys. Um, firing range is 8.6 kilometers. Reload time is 4.7 seconds, and turning time is 18 seconds. HE shell max damage is 1,500 and firing setting chance is 6%. Max AP shell damage is 1,500. The torpedo launcher is 533mm DR Mark II. She only gets two of these, which I'm definitely going to show you these torpedoes. Uh, because usually when it says that it has two, it doesn't really say how many torpedo tubes you have. It's just saying how many launchers you have. So it doesn't really say the tubes. Um, reload time is 40 seconds. Turning time is 2. Point, I mean 7.2 seconds. Max damage is 10,000. That looks like 10,000. Torpedo, de torpedo detection range by sea is 1.1 kilometers. Torpedo range is 7.3 kilometers. And torpedo speed is 52 knots. Pretty quick. But there is one little downside you must know about Pan Asian destroyer torpedoes the deep water torpedoes. Meaning, if you're going to launch them on their destroyer, you just you just can't touch them. You could touch the cruisers, you could touch the battleships and the carriers, but you just can't touch other destroyers. Which, I guess, in a way, it makes sense. But you know, forty mm thirty nine. I mean, this is the AA. It's uh, the forty mm thirty nine QF Mark II. She only gets three of these. Average damage per second seventeen. Firing range is two point five kilometers. Then the max speed of the ship is 36 knots, turning circle radius is 450 meters, and rudder shift time is 2.3 seconds. The detection range by sea is 5.4 kilometers. Detection after firing your main batteries is 8.6 kilometers. When the ship is on fire, 7.4 kilometers. And then detectability by air is 2.8 kilometers. Firing main batteries from the air is 4.8 kilometers. And when the ship is on fire, 5.8 kilometers. Granted, the detectability range is 2 kilometers, and while firing in smoke is 2 kilometers. Let's talk about the armor of this little destroyer. I mean, it's a destroyer, so it doesn't really get an amazing amount of armor, but still gets a little bit of it. 
6 meters thickness of the bottom, foreign plating is 6, the foreign deck is also 6, the bottom also 6, the afton plating is 6, the afton deck is, well, again, 6. Wow. Side plating is 6, top side plates are 6, and that's it for there. The gun sides are 6, which pretty much means the gun shields. The other word ship is 6, the armor belt is 6, the bottom is 6, deck is also 6, and the earthward ship is also 6. But let's talk about where the guns are. So you get one gun in the nose of the ship, one gun in the middle of the ship, and one gun in the rear. So that's all your guns. Now the torpedoes, you get two launchers right here, and you get two torpedoes in each launcher. So meaning you get four torpedoes. Um, because they're, well, they're not on either port or starboard, but they are in the middle of the ship, as you can see. So it means, once you launch these torpedoes, you'll be only launching four of them at one time, if you launch them all. That's probably the best thing about this destroyer, but, well, I mean, there's probably other destroyers with a lot more torpedoes. For example, like the American Crimson, or the British Crimtown, or any other tier 2 destroyer or tier 3 destroyers well definitely tier 3's but definitely get a lot more torpedoes but I do think that's enough to talk about this ship in the port guys let's take her out let's see what she can do and I'll see you guys on the battlefield see you there so we're back guys on ring and this was like well I mean was it an interesting game I don't really know if you want to say it was an interesting game or it was a bad game or what it was actually a pretty good game. I mean, there is one little downside. We are bomb tiered. This is a tier 3 game. So, yeah. Th that's a big, I guess, upside of the gameplay. I mean, I'm looking around seeing if there's any allies near me. I, it looks like on the main map there is two cruisers. So, I'm just looking around seeing if I can see who is it. Besides, just look around, I guess. Or do I look around? Hmm. Do I even look at my teammates that's behind me? I don't know. Hmm, probably I don't. I guess I don't look at my teammates. Oh wait, yeah, you're right, there we are. Two Phoenixes, uh, two American cruisers are following me over here to this side of the map, so yeah. Okay, I guess we do have somewhat backup. We do spot the uh, first enemy ship, the Wyoming. Make sure you pay well attention to that guy, guys, to the game. My cruisers are starting to open fire on him. Here comes a cruiser. My torpedoes could hit him. Well, I mean, they're not really in range, but they could hit him if I did launch them at him and try to kill him that way. But I guess thing I did start turning a little bit before that cruiser, or he ran right into me. And I probably would have gotten hit too. You see, I want to shoot at somebody. But I know if I start shooting right now, I will start giving away my position. I do spot something else. But I do launch all four of my torpedoes at that Wyoming. And there's the G101, a German destroyer, a tier 3. And I'm going to beach myself by accident. I do start trying to go reverse. Probably should have never went reverse, but oh well. It's something I did. There's torpedoes on my side, and that's probably for the cruiser. I go forward, and I do get spotted. And I think it's the German destroyer. So, I start firing at the Germ Russian cruiser over there. The German destroyer is trying to shoot me too, so... Going a little bit forward, stopping, staying my smoke, while my allies is keeping these guys spotted. I want to see if my torpedoes hits this guy. So, I want to try to shoot him with my guns. One torpedo hit. Okay, that's good. Cause a FUD, so it means he uses damage control on that. So I'm using my guns, seeing if I could do it. Oh, wait, uh, there there goes one of my cruiser friends. Um, And that battleship is not detected anymore. And here comes a torpedo. I don't know if this was for me, or if this was a remaining torpedo from the destroyer. But there's the destroyer. He spots me again, and I spot him. I do shoot him, he's using his smoke, which gives me time to get out of there. Do we do crit him? Which is good. But also, it's good that he smoked up, because now we can get the heck out of here and try to live. 
another day. That's right, we will live another day. I'm making sure I keep an eye on that battleship, see if I can see him anywhere. Um, get my torpedoes out. And, well, there's the battleship. We're in torpedo range, so can we torpedo him? I mean, I want to fire, but I don't want to fire because I know if I fire, I'll give away my position and he will find out where I'm at. So I decide, you know what, frick it. Launch torpedoes between that two gaps. I don't expect too much out of these torpedoes, I guess. I mean, but right there, I do fire. But as you see what I did right there, I've waited until I get past the island. So that way I could actually shoot. We do get two shatters, which is no sad, but well, whatever. And right there is a cruiser, it looks like American Phoenix class cruiser. My torpedoes, seeing if I can see if they hit anything over there. I don't think they are. I think he actually dodges all those torpedoes. It looks like he does. Again, I'm not shooting because I know what will happen. That's the thing in destroyers you cannot give away position too often. Not, but he's still in torpedo range. And I do get spot. I was like, what? And here comes the GO, G101 uh, German destroyer. I fire my first salvo, completely missed. Fire my second salvo at this guy. Crit his engine. <laughs> okay, we fire another salvo at him. Doing big chunks of damage at him. Up to 23,000 damage. Not bad. He's not using the damage control party, so it means he used it already. So, yeah. So, I keep up the barrage of fire on him. He's not really hitting me that much right now, which is good. I want to keep that. I'm so. Am I thinking of it? Yes, I'm thinking about turning around and actually going nose in at this guy. His engine is still knocked out. But I still want to keep on hitting this guy. He knocks my engine out, but I use my damage control party. It would cause a fire on this guy. This guy does launch torpedoes at me. That stuff will completely miss. He misses all of his torpedoes. He is hitting me now because I am closing at range. And... Nope, no kill yet. Come on, we gotta kill this guy before so we can get undetected. We killed him with a fire. And there's the uh, enemy battleship, the Wyoming class. It's been following me the whole game. I do start shooting my guns on, but I do slow down so that way I can smoke up. And we do cause a fire. So it means he has to use his damage control part right now. I want to use my torpedoes, but now I don't know where he's at because smoke does act like a double edged sword. So yeah. But up to 32,000 damage. My team is. Keeping the rest of the enemy team occupied on the other side of the map, which is really good. Uh, don't need any worries of any other enemy destroyer coming up behind me or beside me or uh, an enemy cruiser because like it's the only last battleship they have. So yes, actually I think it's the only battleship. Nope, they had one other, but this is the only one. I do get spotted telling me he is pretty close. He is in torpedo range, so let's launch torpedoes. There's all four torpedoes in the water. I don't know if he notices I launched them, but I do start shooting at him a little bit. My first several away. I was thinking my torpedoes wasn't going hit, to be honest, at this point. But I do launch my second several at him, do catch a fire, so that means he has to use a different control. Or is he? Or is he going away to see if there's any torpedoes? Well, he does keep on shooting at me. I am not firing back, so I could go undetected. Right about now I go undetected, as you see. I want to shoot. He is on fire still. We do behind the zone. I, I didn't shoot, but to be honest, we get two torpedo hits, meaning two floods. Awesome. I like that. So does that mean he uses the good damage control party? Oh, uh, not yet. 55,000 damage. And the rest of the, his team is dead and we're... Well, he did use his damage control party because... Well, it stopped ticking. So I'm coming in because I know he's the only enemy ship left. My torpedoes are all reloaded already. <laughs> this thing has pretty quick reload, it seems like, in the game, as you see. And I am in torpedo range. I do want to torpedo him, but I want to go in as a stealthy torpedo range without him knowing. 
as you see I launched my torpedoes right there and I wait for to shoot now I fire my main guns make him look at me make him start turning his side so that way my torpedoes has a better chance of actually hitting him and causing some kind of damage we are hitting him and he is turning his guns his forward gun turns does fire they do hit us hit that doesn't hit we do catch a fire I start firing I don't know if I was thinking my torpedoes was going to hit but they do look like two of them is going to hit and boom we killed the last enemy ship on the enemy team but that was a good game guys I did love it it was a fun game I hope you guys did too if you did please leave a like on this video and if you want to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to and like always I'll catch you guys on the next one bye for now